everyone, William Perno here today. It's my last Bionicle 2015 review of the day, that is. Definitely not uh, the last review in total, because I still have five left, I think. Yeah, five. So, uh, we're going to be taking a look at Golly, Master of Water, next. So, we have Golly on the cover, looking a little CGI-ish. I don't know about you guys, but I, uh, for some reason... I'm sorry, I had to run back and forth to get stuff from my room, but, um, I'm sorry. She looks a little video game-ish on the cover here. She looks like she wasn't finished, but that's okay. Um, anyways, age is 714-70786, and she's 87 pieces. And warning, choking hazard, little children, don't eat the pieces. And then we have all the functions, and one-to-one -one scale of her gold mask. And if you want to pause it here just to take a look at all the different sections of the comic. That'd be great. I won't go over it, but... Then we have uh, Golly's Ultimate Mode with the Protector of Water. I might be going over those modes. I don't know if I will, though. Alright, so... Not including the gearbox. Here's the new and recolored pieces. Starting off, I'm pretty sure we didn't get this style of bone on Crystal Beast, but I could totally be wrong. But I'm pretty sure we got the shorter version, but I could be wrong. I know we haven't gotten this long of a version of the bone piece before, though. I, I know we've gotten this long version, but I know we haven't gotten it in this trans uh, light blue color, so that's very nice to see. Now, I also am not positive if we've seen this. Uh, I know it looks a little darker on the camera, but this is definitely not the same blue we get on Surge from Hero Factory. This is a, a bright azure color, I think. Uh, it's like a... It's almost, it's almost turquoise, but it's not. I can't really tell, but it looks like a watercolor, so that's great. And then we have the new axe slash battle piece, I guess. Um, in silver, you get two of them on this set, and they're very big, so they can be used for some very big heavy-duty weapons. Then we have the new recolored chest plate, that is. We have seen it in gunmetal, just not with this print. Uh, I think this design, just on the sides here, it looks like watery islands. I think it. I think all these chest designs just look fantastic. They look very tribal. I like it quite a lot. Then we have the new inner headpiece, which has the silver Glatorian style looking face, but with the eye stock from original Bionicle years, which is very wiggly because of the mask function. Then we have this armor add-on that connects by two little studs. I believe we get two of these on the set in silver. Uh, they are supposed to look like the original Toamata 2001 bodies. Then we have the Skull Spider coming with four of these new redesigned claw pieces from Hero Factory, but they've just been edged a little. And the new Medicine Skull Spider mask or body uh, in silver. So, yeah, very cool. Then we have the new Golly mask, which doesn't look anything like her Toa Mata mask. Maybe a little bit with the uh, kind of... We have the eyes here. We have this little edge around it, which kind of looks similar to her um, Toa Mata. But if we take a look at these two, you can tell that this one definitely looks a lot more like it. And this one does not. But you can kind of tell what I was saying with the eyes and how they have the edging around them. But we get this in gold and the new blue. So, I'm gonna put it back together, so I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so this is Galdi, Master of Water, or Master of Water. So, um, yeah, she's tall. She's much taller than um, Pohatu by a long shot. She has the very long style bone pieces in her legs, so she's very tall and slim. There's a lot of controversy between her being a guy and a girl. She is a girl, but a lot of people think she looks like a guy. I don't think she looks like a guy. I mean, they definitely try to make her character a little slimmer, and I think that works out well. I'm not saying that girls can't have muscles at all. Don't get on me about that, but uh, I'm just saying I think her character does look a little slimmer, and I think her mask does look a little more feminine, so I think she does look like a girl. I don't know about you guys. Um, their, her color scheme is pretty good as well. Uh, dark gunmetal in there with a little silver, which doesn't annoy me too much. Um, 
and then we have the new bright azure and the trans light blue. Um, I think it works okay. There is yellow mixed in there as well, which I actually do kind of like. In the gearbox here, instead of making the gears black, they did make them all yellow. Uh, so that's that's new. We don't really see yellow with blue a whole lot anymore. So I think that's a pretty nice color scheme, but there is a lot of darker colors mixed into this. So even if there is a lot of different colors, I think it works out well. The only color I disagree with is the gold at the end of the spear here. I think it kind of clashes, but when you put the gold mask on, it works just a little bit better, but not too much. Um, so she does have some bulky shoulder armor. So that's, I think, I think that's okay. That's not a horrible thing. Uh, I do wish she had friction joints in her legs, because as you can see, the weapon is huge. I think she deserves some friction joints, because uh, she might do that on you sometimes. Plus, just seeing me hold her, you can see that uh, she definitely does need friction joints, but they n didn't put them on her, so that's kind of an issue. Um, so, let's get into the functionality. First, we have the dual weapon functionality which I can show you how to do. Basically, you just take this here. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. And you put it on the end. And then you take this and you put it up here like this. Then you have these two things left over. What you're supposed to do is attach them on the feet like so. And boom, now she can swim with her flippers. And yeah. She can swim along. Not the most creative, just like Bohatu's pretty much, but uh, it's not my favorite. But I think it serves its purpose, gets the point out that she is a swimmer, and she does know how to swim. Now, if only she could breathe underwater for as long as she wanted to. So, yeah, and then you can just take those off. What I don't see the point of is this these red uh, axles at the top of these here, I, I see absolutely no point in those. I don't know what they're for at all. Uh, maybe for some reason they were included in the instructions and uh, there's some sort of functionality to those, but I didn't see it and I still don't. So, yeah, but this is what she well this is what you get so um, and then with the gear function on the back there is actually added friction because the gears actually go through to her chest so when you turn this it will stay up even with this big heavy weapon because there's not only uh, really small gears in the gearbox here but there's also really small gears going through to her chest so as you can see they're turning and yeah as you can see though when I was doing that the arm doesn't have friction joints either so it was just kinda of letting it hang loose So that's kind of an issue so the set definitely needs friction joints the articulation is all good on the set it just needs friction joints so badly it's just it's the weapon is so big and I, I just I, I I forget what it was like without friction joints in Hero Factory because having big guys like or girls I guess like this uh, your set definitely needs friction joints. Then we have the mask function here. Pop off the mask and insert her golden mask. She looks pretty good with that on. And if you want it to go the other way, you can take this awesome silver skull spider and put that on as well which looks really really good with the set because there is a lot of silver and gunmetal on the set so works really really great alright so I've pretty much gone over everything you know it's kind of a faster review um, but I think it was a good one alright so how does Golly stack up I think she's okay, but she's probably one of my least favorite Toa right next to Pohatu. I don't know, guys. I'm just not really seeing it. She's kind of a bland set. Her weapon is okay, but it's huge. It's absolutely humongous. Um, so that's kind of an issue. 
So, I'd give her an 8 out of 10, just like Pohatu. She doesn't really stun me or anything. I do really like the gearbox feature we're getting with the Toa. And I do love the dual functionality. I love all the functions we're getting, because kids are going to have a lot of fun with these. And, of course, you get some action in the box with the Skull Spider, so that's definitely cool as well. But... If you're looking at this from a review standpoint, the set isn't it just it's just not as good as the others. If I were to pick up any of the $15 Toa, I'd go straight for Liwa because Liwa is the closest you can get to the $20 Toa if you're not going to buy a $20 Toa. Anyways, my camera's almost out of battery, so I kind of need to leave you guys, but I will say tomorrow my next review will be Liwa Master of Jungle.